now, still a white night Flying across the plains into my last fight Somewhere in my head, I'm still a hero Work my way back up from pretty much nothing This is not that game with the bowling pins We used to just fight for our lives And if you die young and are born again Please tell someone why Hey, I'm Ian Smart, and this is my 2015 Toyota Tundra Platinum model. What inspired us to build this truck was we do a lot of time at uh, the coast, and so we wanted something that would be able to cater to us going to the coast, being able to go out on the beach and go out into the mountains and just get away from people and camp. This is gonna be more of a touring style build, but as far as capability, it's gonna be a higher capable touring truck um, with all upgraded suspension, armor, and then the kind of a whole ecosystem in the back of the truck. So on the front, uh, we went with the CBI front bumper. All the armor on the truck is CBI. We went with their full brush guard on the front. It's just so that we could have a little bit more push. Uh, we also did it for look, just to give it a little bit more of that big front end. CBI's front bumper is also one of the only bumpers that would accommodate a lot of lighting. Uh, there are other bumpers on the market, but CBI's full brush accommodates the four LP9s, um, which is what we wanted to put on the front of the vehicle. We have a 12,000 pound Warren winch on there as well, just so that we have the capability of pulling ourselves or anyone else out. On the side, this is Old Man Emu's uh, BP-51 suspension with SPC upper control arms, just so that we could get the right throw on the vehicle the right ride. We're running 35 inch uh, Yokohama Geolander MT tires on there with method wheels, CBI sliders to match all the rest of the CBI armor. On the roof there, we have the Rhino Rack uh, Pioneer platform rack. That way we can put our bikes or kayaks or anything like that up on top and have a flat surface to mount those down onto. Safari snorkel, it's gonna be all specced out for like your OEM factory airbox so that it's actually still bringing in the correct amount of air. That's why it's a little gaudy on the side, um, but we want to make sure everything stayed factory spec. Underneath, we've got the transfer flow 46 gallon uh, fuel tank underneath. It's hard to see, um, but it, we wanted to upgrade the fuel tank just so that we could go further and fill up less, just because this Tundra from the factory only had a 20, I believe it's a 24 gallon fuel tank. So we brought it up to 46 gallons. So this is Mitt's Alloy. This is their flatbed and canopy combo. So with Mitt's Alloy, you can order uh, just a flat tray if you want. You can order it with sideboards or with a canopy. We opted to go with the tray and canopy. We also did sideboards. So when the canopy is not on the truck, we can still use it as a truck. Um, but this one is our whole ecosystem for when we go camping or any kind of off-road touring. Inside, the doors come up, which is one of our favorite features because it's going to give you a little bit of a rain protection from, or snow, all the elements and all that. And then we have lighting that we've mounted inside here too. So when it's dark, we still have plenty of lighting in here. Uh, we have a clear view um, fridge slide, which allows us to bring the fridge out mainly for my wife. So that makes it a little easier so that she can get into it. And it brings it down to a more friendly height. Over here, we went with, this is called their Weekender package. So it's gonna have like the pantry drawer so that you can keep all your goods. We keep our utensils, food, random things like that. in here, random odds and ends tools. But then it also has a table that pulls out. So as you're turning this into your kitchen, you now have flat surfaces. Uh, there's also a flat table surface that will go here that will come out and give you a surface about this big that we have in the back of the Tundra there as well. It gives you the ability to put in what you need and make camping a lot quicker. That was one of our biggest things as we were building the Tundra. This is probably our third iteration of the truck. We wanted it to be uh, quick, easy, and be able to hit the road and get out with my wife and I both working different schedules. We wanted everything quick. So on the back wall, there's Red Arc's Manager 30. 
Uh, that's gonna give us the ability to power our power system on here and charge it, I guess I should say. It allows us to have shore charging uh, on the front of the canopy. It allows solar input, and then it also gives us the readout so we can see where everything is at on our power system. Uh, Red Arc is just a reliable company, and that it was a no-brainer choice for us to go with that. Can't forget our paper towel holder. This thing is sweet. This thing can go anywhere that there's metal. Uh, we run it in different places and iterations. A lot of times it ends up here, but the coolest thing is that you can put it right on the side of your vehicle. And then you got storage in here as well. So right into mods and ends, that's a hammock and uh, blow up, uh, air up couch, extra straps for recovery if needed. And a lot of it will stay on the truck even when the canopy's off. So. You do have the under tray drawer as well with a flat surface on top. And this is able to, if you need more kitchen prep space, come further out here. You can see I've got my random witch blocks and just random odds and ends, pans, lids, things like that, that I keep in here at all times for whenever we do get the opportunity to go out. Got my recovery gear back here, um, tire repair kit, go treads, all kinds of stuff. And then it all just simply tucks away and you don't even know it's there. So this just folds down. Beauty of this is if you do like a rooftop tent on top of the truck, we opt for, we have a trailer, we have a military trailer that we converted and we put an eye camper on top of. So we normally are towing that behind us when we go as a family. If it's just me, I sleep in the back seat with a platform in the back. But the cool part about having this ladder is it gives you access to either a rooftop tent or when we put our kayaks and things like that up top, you have easy access for anything you're doing. It also is great for photography as well. You're able to stand on top and get those shots uh, that are a little higher. Full construction of, is aluminum. Yeah, so it's very lightweight. Uh, the tray itself in this particular model is somewhere around like 475 in just the tray itself. And then the canopy is more weight on top of that, the way it's outfitted. Oh, also we have our jerry holder on the back just for an extra five gallons. This side is gonna be just straight up storage. So uh, there are different drawer options that you can put here and pull out. There's also top shelves that you can put in as well. Uh, the way we wanted it is we wanted it to be able to put totes, gear, whatever need to be done, because this is still my daily driver truck. We wanted it to be functional. So when I go to Home Depot, this is still a truck. I'm able to put stuff in, haul things, and keep it a truck. You're also able to, on that note, to put lumber up top and things like that, just because around the house, there's always something to do. So I ended up doing just a simple platform inside there, um, and it takes up the whole back. This is a Crew Max uh, Tundra, so you're gonna have a lot of space in the back. We call it the mobile living room, and it gives you the ability to sleep back here, and I'm not your smallest dude, but it gives you a flat surface, so I can go in there and do quick trips on my own. Yeah, so how tall are you? I'm 6'5". I am a side sleeper and I sleep with my legs tucked. So it works for me, wouldn't work for everyone, but it's a great option for whenever I wanna go do a quick solo trip, uh, which is not all the time. Most of the time we're towing the trailer, but when we're snow wheeling and things like that, I like to just leave the trailer behind. I lower my PSI to somewhere between like 15 and 12 PSI. So I have a wide footprint uh, anytime I'm in sand or snow. I'm one of those guys that likes to air down anytime I can. So it gives me a better ride and a bigger footprint. So I work for Mule Expedition Outfitters. We are the importer of Mitt's Alloy. So anytime we can have like a mobile banner going down the road, uh, we use this and uh, we just like to represent the brands that we sell and uh, these are some of the brands that we sell, so we put them on the side of the truck. Yeah, it's my personal rig, so it has to be functional and do what I want it to do, um, but it's also a great showpiece for work as well. I daily drive this from, I will say, it unfortunately probably gets more miles on the, you know, on 205, um, but it does uh, get its fair share of off-road, and uh, that's what we want it to be capable. That's also another reason why we went with the BP1, or BP51 suspension, is we wanted a good ride on road with little maintenance and a good ride off road. And so with everything paired with the Dobinson Leaf and the BP51 shocks, it makes it a lot, uh, lot better ride. So right now the way it sits, I believe the tray is 475 off the top of my head. 
the canopy itself with nothing in it is around three something hundred pounds the tray if you want a ratio is a on its own is pretty comparable to what the factory bed weight was uh, maybe a little heavier um, but it's very it's within parameters to justify it i also another thing to note is this being our crew max had a 5.5 bed on it which you know very well with me going to the tray it is a 6.4 tray anytime you do a tray upgrade you have to keep it within a foot parameter and so this one is a 6.4 tray so we have a little bit more length than we did from the factory it's a v8 it's got 35 inch tires and it's got a lot of weight uh, on average i'm probably in the 11 to 12 range is what my average reads out i also haven't flashed it yet so uh, once i flash it then i'll know uh, if that's true or not it's not a fuel efficient vehicle on the freeways i'm probably getting somewhere around 16 to 17 on a good day and that's if i'm off the pedal uh, I will say I did have the truck tuned um, by a local tuner, uh, p and Tuning, Paul over there, um, and he tuned it and the tune helped with my torque, but I also felt it in my fuel economy as well, just because of how it changed the shift points and things like that. So it's been, it's been great. It's not a, it's not a Prius, um, but it does what I needed to do. So the plan is to possibly do 37s, which will make us have to do 529s. Um, if we do 529s, we'll do lockers. So we're sticking with 35s for now until uh, we're ready to take the jump to dumping all that into it. Now, if people want to see more of your rig, where can they go? Uh, my Instagram, Ian So Smart. No spaces or anything, just Ian So Smart. And that's where you're going to probably see the most highlights. You'll see my truck sometimes highlighted on our Mule uh, Expedition Outfitters uh, Instagram as well. Um, but Ian So Smart's going to be your best bet. Mm -hmm.